Hey guys, how you doing? Rahul here, and today we've got a package over here from Amazon, and I believe it's my new camera gear and stuff, which I ordered the other day. So I thought I'll open it up and show you guys what I've got, which is new, because I know a few of you like seeing what kind of camera gear I'm using and um, everything, so I'll go over it. But trying to open this one-handed with my CSGO knife, um, I think this is a Huntsman Fade or something. It's very hard, but um, I think maybe if we slice down the middle like that, yeah, that is going to be good. And then we've got to open that one. Open up like this and like this and here we go. So here, gorilla tripod thingy looks good. And um, here is the main thing which we got, which is the 10 to 18 millimeter lens. Let's get it in focus there. The 10 to 18 millimeter lens. So we'll open that in a bit. And um, we got the gorilla tripod, like I said. So let's just take off the uh, paper from this. So we took off the paper, and here we go. We've got it a little bullhead gorilla pod sort of thing by Jobby, I think. Um, we'll open this up as well. And um, finally, we got this light which is um, a video light so hopefully I don't have to use my phone anymore because if you didn't know I used to use my phone as a light and it wasn't that good but now we have this and uh, finally we have this thing not really too sure what this is oh uh, this is a sim card for my phone actually my data ran out on my normal sim so because I've got the OnePlus 2 with two sim slots I can use this for data and it's got like six gig of data so like two gig a month or something I can use because it lasts for Three months or something, so yeah, pretty, pretty good. Right, now let's get into all of this stuff. I think we'll open up the light first. So open up the light, and inside you get the light itself, and also these kind of filter things. So already it comes with this, um filter this white filter but then you also get this orange kind of one and it comes in a nice little pouch like this um, and yeah it's pretty good it comes with also this thing which um, not too sure what the hell this is but uh, that's cool I think it might be a battery to be fair I think that might be a battery but you can actually just put normal double A batteries in there I think I'm not too sure exactly maybe triple A no, I think double, but it takes a few of those and it comes with loads of padding and stuff. All these things I bought, I'll leave in the description if anyone's wondering. But yeah, just a nice little video light, so we'll test this out. Um, probably I uploaded a video the other day and you're already seeing this, because I probably won't upload this video today. But um, in my recent video, you might be able to see this, so that is pretty cool. Now let's have a look at this uh, Gorilla Tripod thing. Alright, so here we have the... Um Gorilla tripod thing here, so let's just put it into focus. Um, it's got the little part which you can screw onto your camera, so there, so you put that on the bottom of your camera, and then it's got this to um, level your camera, and then this joint um, actually is fully movable. Um, all these legs actually are fully movable as well, so um, let me just set this down and show you so. As you can see, all of these can be moved in any way you want, and then you can get into really cool positions. But what it's mainly, um, well not mainly, but what I want to mainly use it for is um, for holding it as a vlogging camera sort of thing. So I can hold it like that and have the camera there, rather than just holding the actual cam this camera itself, which is really annoying. But yeah, this is a really cool thing to get if you want to kind of do vlogging, but also want to get like cool shots and stuff. And right now, the tripod I'm using isn't that good because um, it's not that easy to place behind my screen, but this I can place anywhere, so it's going to be really useful for just anything in general for using a tripod, and I can also like fold up the arms to hold it for actual camera rig and stuff, and it's going to be really, really cool. Now we can get onto the main thing, which is the lens. So the lens came in a lot of bubble wrap, which was really cool. Can I pop one? Oh no, it's the type where it doesn't really pop because they have um, little holes like pre-made sort of thing. So when you like press it, the air moves about and stuff. So not really good for popping, but if you probably tried, you'll be able to. But here is the actual lens. So um, I've got the lens right here. And um, it's basically a wide angle lens, 10 to 18 millimeter. And the lens I'm using right now is 18 to 55. So right now um, I'm at 18, but then I can go all the way to 55, which is like that. And um, for some reason, focusing just never works. Um, I am on autofocus, but just doesn't want to work. But I thought I'd do a quick kind of show of how it'll change. So, all right, so I've switched lens now, and I'm again at 18 millimeters because this lens, as I said, goes from 10 to 18. But I can move it all the way back to 10. And here we go, this is at 10 millimeters. So now we've got a lot more. So before this was at 18, and you can see that um, for my hand, it's like, you can see a bit of my screen and you can see the wardrobe, but when I move it all the way out, you can actually see a way more side of my room there and also way more there, so it's pretty cool. And if we actually move about and stuff, it looks like we're moving quite fast, but we can see right here, 
Oh, the lighting is so bad in this room. But yeah, we've got the um, lens right there, and it looks quite cool. But um, for focusing and stuff, it's just odd. But there we go. There's the lens itself, and it looks pretty cool. And also, one thing, which is for like vlogging and that, if I'm on 10, mm 10 millimeters here, right now, um, I'm actually really, really close to the camera. So, like, this is actually really weird because I'm like literally a hand's distance. Of, well, you can even see I'm a hand's distance away from the camera, and um, I'm still fully like in focus. And if I hold it back like this, like, uh, as I did with the 18mm, so if I was on, like, 18mm, it looks kind of close, um, but I'm, like, I'm, like, far away close sort of thing, but at 10mm, this just looks really, really cool, and, um, because of how the microphone is, you can still hear me. I'm planning to get a proper microphone as well for this camera, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And now, actually, I'm going to put the Gorilla Tripod thing on to test how it all, all will work together. So now I've got the actual Gorilla Tripod thing on, and as you can see... Um, in the mirror or what the hell because it's so far away and stuff. It's hard to kind of actually see but can you see that? I don't know. It's like really Oh, uh, can you see that? I don't know, but yeah, if you can see that you can see that but basically I've got the Gorilla tripod on and I can just hold it like this and um, move about so look if we move about and stuff well it's a bit top heavy so I'm like whoa but uh, <laughs> but it's working quite well and yeah, this is a really cool kind of um Gorilla setup mount vlogging camera thing that I've got going on and all I need now is the um Is the what is it the microphone for this and it'll work really well, but um, We've got the video light so that you've probably seen in another video But yeah, this whole setup's looking pretty good, and I'm pretty happy with this whole lens really good and um you don't even need to keep anything in focus because everything is always in focus. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Just a quick look at some of my new um, camera gear and stuff which I got. So um, yeah, that was about it. And yeah, if you did enjoy this video, then drop a like. I've been Rahul. Catch you on the next one.